Welcome to Adip Tutorial. Today we'll introduce the rotary encoder. We need Arduino UNO Avery board and 5 pin wire besides. This is the rotary encoder. It marks with A, B, and S. What is that for? Actually, there are three gears. Arduino reads its waveforms and determines whether you are rotating clockwise or counterclockwise or pressing it through the program. You may have similar rotary knobs in your life. Now we need to know the waveforms the device outputs when you press or rotate. Don't complain that we have to check up the waveforms all the time. You have to know that there is only zero and one in the world of electronics. They don't speak, so many waveforms composed by zero and one are just waiting for us to translate. Look at the encoder menu. This is the clockwise waveform of the rotary encoder. The waveform above is A and below is B. And this is the counterclockwise waveform of the encoder. Can you see the difference? Rotate the encoder clockwise. When A is in falling edge, B is low level. When A is in rising edge, B is high level. Rotate counterclockwise. The result is opposite. When A is in falling edge, B is high level. When A is in rising edge, B is low level. If the encoder is pressed, the corresponding pin of C outputs a low level. We can use the logic analyzer to capture the waveform to verify and check if the encoder works normally. Connect the logic analyzer. Set starting to capture in rising edge. Rotate clockwise. Let's see the waveforms. When A is in falling edge, B is low level. Rising edge, B is high level, which is the same as we talked before, and proves that this module works well. And then rotate counterclockwise. When A is in falling edge, B is high level. Rising edge, B is low level. Next, let's look at the program. When the program detects clockwise rotation, it counts 1. When the program detects counterclockwise rotation, it loses 1. If the encoder is pressed, the value is cleared. Define the three pins connected to the module A, B, S and the variables that save the count value. Initialize pins and serial ports. Perform the operation of detecting rotation in the loop. Let's see the specific function. When phase A and B is reversed, if the level before the phase A is high, the current state is low, it is in falling edge. Remember the previous analysis? When A is in falling edge, clockwise, B is in low level, counterclockwise, B is high level. The level of B is either 0 or 1. Clockwise, the level of B is 0, result as minus 1. Counterclockwise, the level of B is 1, result as 1. The function will return the result. Then, the value will be 1 or minus 1. 
when clockwise or counterclockwise, so that to realize the increase or decrease of the count value. Of course, press the encoder, you can clear. Now we connect the wires. Select the board and serial port. Click Upload. Open the serial monitor. Now the count value is zero. We rotate clockwise. The value increases. Rotate counterclockwise, the value decreases. And press it clear. Okay, this is pretty much it for this time. You can study the waveforms of other devices if you are interested. After all, this is the language of the electronic devices which can help to deepen our understanding of the program. If you have any questions, post our forum. See you next time.